Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me once again. My name is Wilkie and I am back with another, or still my current playthrough of Remnant from the Ashes. And um, it turns out that the boss that we defeated last time wasn't actually... Uh, how should I put this? Wasn't actually a, a sub-boss or something optional, but that was actually the right path to go. Uh, which I went here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be checking on that one. Also, we did get a a new weapon, rather an item that allowed us to craft a new weapon, which we now have a spore bloom, which is a I guess boss shotgun, which has a fixed weapons mod in it or weapon mod in it. So it's a one shot shotgun, sort of like a like I don't know how to how to call it, but we're going to be seeing how this thing goes. Curious to see. Anyways, we did. Other than that, I did a little bit of uh, crafting, upgrading my armor, still running the uh, the twisted armor set for the regeneration, rather for the for the high uh, rot resistance. Still, every time I I run around a bit longer, I tend to be like, why did I not go back to the wonder set? But we'll see how that goes. Anywho, other than that, there's, there was a chest up there. I'm not sure if the chest reset or not, so we will try that. We try that. If they reset or not. So, should have been in this. They don't reset. Alright. They probably reset whenever I reset the whole world, or finish the world, or whatever it is. I still don't know how the, how the reset mechanic, or how the what happens if I finish, or when I finish the world. So presumably there's no... As far as I learned, the story is... Oh shit. Apparently the story... Oh shit. Apparently the story is, um... The same for everybody, or at least mostly the same for everybody. Fighting this guy close quarters is not really advisable. Tell you that much. I'm oh, sorry, I, I get charges. I get no, I get this much. Shoot him a little bit in the face. That wasn't really uh, that well, or rather, that didn't went. That didn't go very well. It went. Didn't win well? That's what I was trying to say. We're gonna lurk around. I'm not here to fight mobs right now, so. This is apparently the, the skill that lobs a grenade. This guy. That's not bad. Might be useful against bosses, even though I'm not sure if raw damage will actually work on bosses. If not, I go back to the shotgun and um, just be using that with the fire mod because I think that one's really, really good. I mean, 20% damage increase on bullets is hell of a lot, I think. And uh, the bleeding also helps to increase your DPS, so... Anyways, we're up in the last dungeon on, on this map. And if there's nothing there... Another checkpoint. Let's sit there. Restore ammo. The Tangled Pass. Tangled? I think it was Tangled. The 
down, mate. Sit down. So this doesn't seem like a simple boss rush. Or hidden item map like the other one did. Let's see, there's a lot of roominess. That guy come. Just checking the map. I heard something. I didn't see it though. Can't get ammo. I don't think I can walk this way, right? And I actually can walk this way. Nice trait. Some of knowledge. I think I want reload speed. There are a button T is for trades. Makes sense. Goes up quite nicely. Great inverse. Still do not know exactly what everything does in this UI, so we're circling around back here. Oh, so this guy dug up from the ground. Traps on iron, that's nice. I need plenty of those. Hopefully there's something good at the end. How much XP do I actually have? Oh. Okay, this guy doesn't stagger. Okay, 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 okay. I see. This is why I got the squeaking noise again. Right, so we'll blast this guy in the f face then. How much XP I didn't rates. I mean, I have these, but two hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing two hours or not. You know what, screw that, we're actually gonna... Why the hell not, I have three of those, and I don't know if there's any good place to use them in or not. Hit. Let's make use of the items while I have them. There's a lot of these smallsies. I think this is actually not a bad idea. I should have used the XP potion before I did the root mother thingy. Where there were so many enemies there. There's a lot of those here. Not bad per se either. That's yeah, looking looking quite nice. See the regeneration even even now it still takes quite a long time. Where's the bad guy that just wrecked me? I wanna kill it. I wanna kill this sucker. The dead end or what? Oh no, it goes up here. Nice strap. Purple item? That means a weapon or whatever. Drifter's mask. I think this loops around.
too bad the gun. I'm not sure what I what I think of the skill, but the gun itself doesn't feel too bad. The reloading gets a little bit annoying. I think the shotgun did a much better job at that, but once the reload speed goes up, I don't think that's gonna be much of an issue. I mean, I have the the charm that already does. I got the drifter's mask, right? What does it do? What? Oh, that's the that's the last piece I was missing from the. Why is it a freaking welder's mask? What in the name? What in the name is this? I got it. Or we did too. I don't think there's hidden anything here. As I said, it loops around. As expected. Oh, there is a chest now, look. It's definitely worth uh, taking trips back into corners where you could potentially go, but it would have to go because it seems that they like hiding things inside of that. So up here, circle downwards here. Stamina would be really nice though. Can I lie? Stamina would be nice. I mean, it recovers relatively quickly. Are they buffed? Holy shit, yes they are. That dodge was very, very poorly timed. The problem with this mid-range stuff is... ...that I really have to get close to these guys, and I might actually think about going back to the... ...or trying the rifle for that matter. To see how quickly I could potentially... ...take these guys out. I'm getting scraps and getting speed, so it's not really bad. But ultimately, I want to go through and don't die. is down. down I know he's down might I have very well know that ouch Should learn to press T. Deal. Seems like three is the maximum amount of uh, aids you can have. We'll see about that. Maybe I can smoke out the the caster. Um.
think I cleared every enemy map here. Oh. What? Seems like they are not really aware of footsteps, even while sprinting. Pretty chop, you little doggo. He's like a dog. Gonna squeak. Oh shit. I'm starting to like this gun a little bit more seeing how it auto switches from mod power to blast so you can dish out I think quite a bit of DPS with that hey, crystal where are we going uh shit. gonna go no we're, we're gonna go inside first let's check this forged iron all right so we are pretty much in the area where we actually get the new materials. Nice chest. Scrap. Really? All you give me is scrap? It is what it is. I'm gonna take it. Looks like a simula sim simulacrum. So I can finally upgrade my dragon heart to four. Or just probably isn't all that much of a bad idea. I mean, I'm not much of a consumable user. You can probably tell by uh, the amount of items I keep collecting on the bottom left. So. Dead already. Well, that was just a small detour. I got the mask, I got the simulacrum, so... I know what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be upgrading my dragon heart! Depending on where I come out now, because I don't think I've been here before. Oh. The artery. I wasn't here before. Alright. So it seems we might actually go into this place first. I think there's a boss. Or it might look back somewhere. I assume there's a boss. What are we gonna be doing? We're gonna upgrade our dragon heart first, and then we're gonna see what lies behind Bog Door, Bog Wall, whatever it's called in Remnant. But we'll see how that goes. So, find the keeper. We'll have to find the keeper. The portal. This may. Part of a dragon. I don't have a whole lot of scrap right now. Maybe I should not upgrade every little piece of equipment I get. Till next time. I'm gonna buy the iron though. Maybe I can upgrade the 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 spore bloom once. I think it's not a bad gun. Probably doesn't have anything for me. Uh, uh nope. He doesn't have anything for me. What about you? 
Can we upgrade it? Take some luminite crystals. It's quite expensive. I don't have enough scrap right now, but I could upgrade it. And the damage on that thing is quite brutal. So, fire items, nope. Maybe I'll go back to the Drifter's armor. Just because I really like the, the stamina. But we'll see. We'll go back to the portal in a hurry. And let's see what lies beyond the door. I assume another boss or this challenge thingy where I have to revive the metamorph met metamorphosis. Metamorph metamorphosis. Morphosis. I don't even know how to correctly pronounce that. Metamorphosis or metamorphosis? I think it's metamorphosis. Is that? Oh boy. My English is getting really rusty these days. So, let's see what lies ahead, shall we not, my friends? This looks like something could be hidden. I assume something comes running through the bus. Oh no, it actually came out. Up with this guy, Mangler. Where are you? I don't think he can. Ooh, low, holy, holy, fuck a moly. Jesus, good god, that was a shitload of damage. So let's not go into melee with this guy. Teleported away, you sucker. Some damage to this rat fling. Okay, hello. You're a little bit bigger, mate. What's up with that? Don't tell me you're gonna be re rolling around with the Fatso guy attitude. Oh, he actually is. Holy. Uh oh. Let's heal very quickly before this guy comes back to me. Oh shit, no, I didn't want to do that. What weapons? Roll too early. I should have just smacked this guy. Probably a lot better to just whack these little freaking fellas and uh, almost did it. We almost got him on the first. Was it the first try? Yeah. I think due to the fact that there's an enormous amount of uh, little shit spawning, I can probably just go ahead and use my big gun.
Screw that. Really screw that. this little shit all right let's let's see what we can do now we're gonna pounce me. That was something I don't know what he ran into, but he seems to hurt him quite a bit. Whoever's coming up, he will die. Should be dead soon. There we go. Quest complete. So that was probably a side quest. I got the hollow seed. Presumably I can craft something again. And what trade did we get? No trade? No trade? Really? Really? No trade? Come on. So let's definitely go that road. I think reload speed is never bad. We're gonna I'm gonna save first off and then And then we're gonna check on ahead. But the gun's definitely not bad. It takes a little bit of getting used to due to the fact that it only has one shot. So it's obviously not the best room clearer per se, but I think in terms of damage, it's not bad. I didn't even see the, the barrel, whatever that was, he ran into and lit himself in fire. Not that I mind. It really helped. I think now we're done with all the optional roads. Probably. I think. If I'm not mistaken, that should have been all the optional roads I could have taken. So we're on ahead to, I guess, the, the, the actual main plot questline. We'll see. Where did we come out? Oh, look where we are. Finally, I finally unlocked the last missing piece, so. Definitely was worth the detour. I don't know what the what the willow still is up to. But we'll see that eventually. I presume I can unlock this door now. Yes. There we go. There's something here, so I wanna check it out. Maybe a chest, maybe an item. Maybe nothing. Why would they even bother making something like that? There's nothing... Nothing here. Nothing I can spot. Oh well. Anyways, I think that sums it up for this video. And I will check the new item I got and then I will continue onwards with the main story. So I'll catch you guys next time.